एवरीवन दिस इज ओम फ्रॉम सिविल सेंटर वेलकम टू आवर चैनल एज वी नो सिविल सेंटर इज कॉन्टिन्यूसली वर्किंग विद द विजन टू गाइड सिविल इंजीनियरिंग स्टूडेंट्स एंड प्रोफेशनल्स एंड फॉर दैट वी कीप मेकिंग वीडियोस ऑन डिफरेंट सॉफ्टवेयर एंड ऑन डिफरेंट टॉपिक्स रिलेटेड टू सिविल इंजीनियरिंग फील्ड सो what are we going to learn today uh, this is the interface of tecla structures and as i have already explained you in the previous video about the interface so you can see over here that this is the coordinate and you can get this coordinate once you just click on the grid lines okay and i have explained you that you can always change the coordinates so i will just show you how you can do that so all you have to do is to just specify the distance between the x axis okay so suppose i want a one grid line at uh, 4000 mm and then another at 4000 mm another one as 4000 mm similarly i would like to like uh, get three grid lines in the y axis okay so either you can go for this way or you can simply multiply 4000 with 3 okay so these are the two ways of getting the grid lines in x and y directions so this method is used when you have to make the grid lines at a particular distance okay and this one is for the uniform distance so i will just click on the modify after i am done with the placing and in the labels you can just name the labels as 1 2 3 4 5 6 4 for the x then you can also change the z coordinates i can simply name it at the distance okay so i will just copy it and i will paste it over here so now once i will click on modify then you can see what are the differences so in the x directions you have three distances at 4000 in the y direction you have three grid lines at uh, 4000 mm and then in the z direction if you want to uh go for the z direction then you will have to create a view over here and to do that you can just click on the grid line right click on it and then go to create view so over here you can have a view like a 3d view so this one is my 3d view okay now i will simply close all the views in order to create one and uh, then i will get a 3d view of this okay now i can show you how to create the views so all you have to do is to just select the grid line then right click on it and go to create view i have already shown you how to create the 3d view and then you can also create views along the grid lines okay then this dialog box will open up and you can simply click on create then you will have grid lines along all the directions over here okay and i have already started the tecla structures because uh, it will take a lot of time to start so just to save that time i have started this earlier okay otherwise you can just uh, simply go ahead and click on the icon of the tecla structure wherever it is on the desktop double click on it or you can just right click on it and then run as administration administrator that you have to select okay once you will open up the tecla structures then you will have to just simply go over here and click on the new file so if i will open a new file then it will take some time so if you guys want to see that then i can show you otherwise we can continue with this one okay so here i am getting number of options because i have already worked on it and uh, but in the start you will not get options like this okay so i will go to plan 0 okay and here you can see i have my plan view over here then i can open up a grid line along 1 1 okay so i will also open a grid line along this one and you can see now i have the grid lines along the y direction in on the basis of the grid line 1 okay so 1 1 is there then i will another i will open one more grid line over here and you can see i have a grid line along the grid line a okay so these are the two ways of getting the grid lines now we can also arrange these windows in the way i want okay so i will just uh, uh, delete one of the window over here so i don't need this window so i can just simply close it okay 
and now if you want to work on all these three windows at the same time then you can just go to windows and click on tile vertically and it will open up the three windows over here so you can also open the four windows but uh, that, that will make it clumsy so i'm just working with the three one because what we need we need a plan a 3d view and a view in the elevation okay you can also tile it horizontally if you want and there is also option of cascade so in the beginning it will open up in this form that is the cascade but i prefer working on it vertically okay and you can also work on a single view at a time that's up to you but to make the modeling easy i have opened it like this so that you can visualize what are the things that are present over here okay ford is starting to model what we need is architectural plan and uh, but we will not go with the architectural plan because that will be too long and that cannot be completed in just uh, two hours okay so i will start with a model first so i will just open up a structural drawing and i will take the reference from there we have a structural drawing over here so in the structural drawing you can see that we have everything that we need and to start the modeling or the detailing first of all this is our prime requirement so this structural drawing will be needed in order to uh, work on any project so for each and every project the structural designer or the structural engineer will uh, design the building and he will make a structural so over here i will just start with a footing of 1200 by 1200 okay with a depth of 350 then what we need is the uh, distance of this from the ground level so you can see normally our footing is at a depth of 1200 mm okay so we will start with that one and uh, while placing the footing one thing should be kept in mind and that one is the base of the footing should be at the same level okay you can change the top one but the bottom one should be at the same level so we will design accordingly however there are countries and there are also places in which the base level is changed like the bottom level is changed if you are going for the pile foundation then the bottom level of the footing will be changed but the base of the pile cap should be at the same level so we will make that uh, 1200 okay so this you can see in this structural drawing we have our plinth level over here and we will simply so over here you can see this is our plinth level and the foundation this foundation is having the base level at uh, minus 1200 mm okay so i will just enter the minus 1200 and it will come down by 1200 okay 1200 mm over here so we will work like this and when i will show it to you in the <coughs> software then you will clearly understand that okay now i am going to start with the modeling portion and by the time malay is asking all you have to do is to convert your revit model to the ifc format i will also show you the option of that you will have to export the revit structures um, model in the ifc format and from here you have to go to import and you can simply import the ifc model from these okay let's start with the modeling part so you i will start with this footing f2 so its size is 1200 by 1200 and the depth is 350 mm okay then we have a reinforcement that is 10t at the spacing of 125 center to center in xx direction as well as in the yy direction so that's all the information that we need over here and one more thing is needed that is the cover so in the notes section you can find the cover so the cover of the footing is 75 mm okay so we will model first so i am going to just go to concrete and then footing and i will go for the pad footing over here then over here on the right you can see that you can specify the sizes so i will just start with 1200 by 1200 as specified in the structural drawing then you can also define the concrete in the paid versions okay then over here the top and the bottom level has already been defined over here otherwise you can just change it okay then you can also position this you can like uh, vertically make it to the middle to the front or to the back okay 
so these are the options over here you can also rotate it if needed so that will come when you are working on a live project or any project okay then on the horizontal you will also get the options like middle left and right okay then cast unit numbering so this will uh, leave this to the software and it will number itself the all the members over here automatically so you don't need to just work on it or worry about it okay now there are options of precast or cast in place so i am working on a project in which uh, it has to be cast in place okay so i'm not going for the precast over here then i can simply place the footings over here so to just to place the footing i will simply click on the coordinate so you can see it has already been designated to the desired location so i have uh, chosen this point and it has uh, come down to the this level okay so now what i want i want this footing to be placed in a way that its bottom is 1200 but you can see it is not acting like that one okay so i can always rotate the view in order to get the perfect view so for that all i have to do is to just hit the control button and using the scroll button of my mouse i can simply rotate it and make it visible in a proper way and you can also scroll uh, like press the scroll button of your mouse in order to just uh, use it to move the model from the left to right or up to down okay and if you press the control button it will start rotating so right now you can see that in the elevation view i have the footing placed in a proper way and in the plan view you can find the exact location of it okay so i will simply place all the footings that are needed over here okay so i will just place the footings over here So let's not make this uh, very much complex. So I will just work with a 4x4 grid line. Okay. So I will just change the coordinate over here. Let's make it 2. So you can see that I can modify my grid lines or anything in the Tecla structure at any point of time. Okay. And I will just try to keep it to this height so that height is okay. So in the 3D view, you can see we have placed all the footings and you can visualize that in the plan view and the elevation view as well as at the same time. Over here, what is the second thing that I need? So the second thing that I will need is the column. Okay, so I will just go ahead and double click on the column and the properties box for the column will open up. So you here you will have to set the profile of the column. So I will again go back to the structural drawing and from here I will take a column so i will start with the 250 by 250 column and what is the reinforcement in it so we have the main reinforcement of 416t up to the first slab and then up to third slab we have 416t and the dimension is also same and even in the transverse reinforcement it is 8t at the rate 175 center to center okay then we are going to just uh, apply all these things so we will start with a column of 250 by 250 over here and it is up to the third slab so the first slab will be at the first floor the roof level of the first floor, ground floor then the second slab will be the roof level of the first floor and the third slab will be the roof level of the which one a uh, second floor okay now we can just go ahead and define our column so the size is already 250 by 250 over here and uh, here the top and the bottom distance should be defined so i will make the top as 6000 because the height of the building is 6000 over here and the bottom level is minus 900 over here so i can always uh, use the columns in three ways i can simply make the individual columns i or i can just uh, make the columns and this Splice that okay so let's uh, learn the both the ways over here so i will first make a column at a distance of zero on the top 
and the bottom should be 900 okay so i will place columns like this then all other parameters are good over here so in case i want to change any parameter i can always select the column and change it at any point of time okay so you can see my columns are being placed over here length of 900 mm okay so you can see we have started with minus 900 and now it is up to the zero level so i can cast the columns like this or i can also cast a column which is just uh, starting from the bottom and going up to the roof level so that's up to you but uh, then you will have to use the uh, split tool and you will have to split the columns so i will again uh, define the columns again and now i am going to work with a column that is starting from zero and it is going up to a height of 6000 mm okay so this is also a way of working on it so i will just click on this point and you can see i have a column which is of this much height so i will place all the columns over here so one thing that you need to keep in mind that you have to click on the point intersection point and you can see that in the 3d view all your columns are ready and you can check the height from the elevation view okay and this is the plan view in which we are working why i am doing this i'm just making a model over here so that you can have an idea how you can do all these things okay so guys that was all for today if you want more such informative videos then you can visit our youtube channel as well as you can also visit our facebook page where you will find a number of youtube videos and the informative posts related to our live online classes so if you want to register for our live online classes then you can simply go to the link given in the description all you have to do is to click on that link and it will open up a google form for you you have to just fill your details over here and i will personally give you a call and i will guide you how to proceed to join our live classes see you in the next video thank you